On April 12th, a Chinese rocket carrying a communication satellite blasted off into the sky. The Xijiang 13 will deliver internet connectivity to remote parts of China, airline travelers, and high-speed trains. China is on the fast track these days when it comes to space. They're very ambitious. They have big goals. They have big plans. Brendan Curry is an official with the Space Foundation, which recently held the space symposium in Colorado Springs, Colorado. This annual gathering attracts space industry professionals from dozens of countries. This year, that included China. They are definitely looking at things that would uh, differentiate themselves and uh, highlight their, their technical capabilities. China's space program has been around for decades. China is the third country to launch a human into orbit. It's the third country to reach the moon. Its lunar rover, nicknamed Jade Rabbit, captured the public's attention several years ago. It was an example, space expert Michael Simpson says, of China's modern touch. To recognize that a mission needs to have more than just its scientific content. It needs to, it needs to inspire, needs to excite, needs to explain. Now comes the Tianzhu-1, a cargo ship that's planned to dock with the Tiangong-2 space lab. It's a key step on the way to China's space station, now planned for 2020. This is a very important technology demonstration projects. We're capable of sending cargoes and supplies, including fuel, and uplifting the, the orbit of the space station. Well, it's significant because it does show their capacity to rendezvous in space. China also has its sights set well beyond Earth orbit. This November, it plans to launch a robotic mission to bring back samples from the moon. Next year, we'll be launching the Chang'e 4 mission, which is landing on the far side of the moon for the first time in human history. Tian Yulong, one of 15 space agency leaders at this space symposium, says collaboration among countries will be critical in the space realm, especially when it comes to missions to Mars. We're here to extend our invitation to international cooperation. Simpson says space powers like China are working to bring engineering, science and process together, one launch at a time. To demonstrate that they're capable of really cool stuff. Human beings are curious folks. Hendrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.